Hey, it's Metacosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today we have a new video. We'll talk about the differential diagnosis of fever and rash when the rash involves the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. So, with that said, now let's get started. Now, if you knew seven of this, you're a hero. I'll give you freaking ten. Fever and a rash when the rash involves the palms and the soles. Secondary syphilis. Erythema multiforme with the target-like lesions. Hand, foot, mouth disease. Please let me know what causes hand, foot, mouth disease in the comment section. Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Where do we find Rocky Mountain spot fever? Oh, in the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. Shut up. It's a wrong freaking name. You basically find it in the United States anywhere but the Rocky Mountains. You find it in Kentucky, mostly the South and the Midwest. Varicella zoster virus infection. Neisseria infection, strept monoliformis infection, monoliformis, subacute bacterial endocarditis, toxic shock syndrome, and Kawasaki disease. We have talked about syphilis in my physiology playlist in a video titled Embryology of the Nervous System. Basically, primary syphilis, the painless chancre, and painless bilateral lymphadenopathy. Secondary syphilis, everything here is twos. We have skin lesion and condylomatolata. You have fever and lymphadenopathy. How do you screen? PRP, VDRL. How do you confirm? FTA, ABS, MHA, TPA. Everything is two, except the dose. Three doses of intramuscular benzothiamine penicillin or penicillin G. Tertiary syphilis, this is the gamma, this is the worst, this is the caseating granuloma, this is the aortitis neurosyphilis with tabes dorsalis, argyle robertson pupil, prostitutes I and Romberg sign. This clean slide is from Picmonic, so here is syphilis. We have primary syphilis here, secondary syphilis, and then tertiary syphilis. In primary syphilis, I have a painless chancre on my pipi. The causative organism is the spiral spirochete. Which spirochete? The treponema pallidum. Here is your tripod and it's pale. Secondary syphilis, look at the rash, look at the lymphadenopathy. And the rash involves the palms and the soles. Picmonic is very accurate. And we call this condyloma lata. Here is your latte made of condoms. We should definitely let Starbucks make this kind of latte. I'll buy two. Just remember secondary syphilis. Tertiary syphilis, you see the gamma, which is the granuloma. Gamma, here is your gramma. Gramma with the lama because this is granuloma. Don't forget the neurosyphilis is tertiary. Don't forget the tertiary syphilis also have the aortitis with aortic regurgitation. Go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis to learn more than 1000 picmonics. I have a great mnemonic about erythema multiforme. Just search into YouTube erythema multiforme medicosis. The palms of the hands and the soles of the feet, IgM, and its target-like lesions. Don't forget it's associated with mycoplasma and it's symmetrical with macules. It's commoner in males and it's self-limiting. Describe the target. You have erythema in the center. You have pale edematous ring, and then you have the erythematous border. Okay, medicosis, how do I remember the 10 diseases that have rash on the palms and the soles? Here's the deal. Remember my story. So when I was young, I used to put my hand and my feet in my mouth. And speaking of my mouth, I had strawberry tongue. The doctor gave me aspirin, but before giving me aspirin, the doctor made sure that I did not have the varicella infection. This is medically accurate, by the way. Before giving aspirin to a Kawasaki patient, make sure they do not have varicella or influenza infection. Other than that, kids should not receive aspirin anyway because it can lead to RISE syndrome, which can be fatal. Varicella infection gave me chicken pox when I was young, and it gave me shingles when I'm adult. Speaking of adult, I went to college, lived in the college dorm, and I got Neisseria meningitis meningitis. Meningococcemia definitely involves the palms and the soles. In college, I became promiscuous, developed primary syphilis with the painless chancre down there. I was embarrassed, I did not seek medical attention, and it went away. Yahoo! I do not need to see a doctor anymore. Wait, what? Secondary syphilis? with rash involving the palms and the soles and generalized lymphadenopathy. 
Then I went to Colorado, actually anywhere but Colorado, and developed Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Colorado is so beautiful, to the point that I developed fever and a murmur and some vegetations. There is lots of vegetations in Colorado, but that's a story for another time. Lots of tampons, toxic shock syndrome toxin. But now I've reached menopause and I no longer need tampons. I am old now. I'm richer. But I'm a target for lawyers. Target lesions, erythema multiforme. And then add strep moniliformis. I don't know what the flip is this. This is how you remember the 10. To learn more about how we treat infectious diseases, check out my antibiotics course on my website medicosisperfectionaries.com. It has 40 videos and 70 questions, 35 cases, etc. This is by far the best course on my website. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my antibiotics course and my cardiac pharmacology course. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.